Our next stop, London, England. You know, millions of people come here each year to see iconic sites like the Tower Bridge, and millions more people will be coming here in the decades to come to live. It's going to require, though, a sustainability plan, and that means innovators and problem solvers to plan for the future. But right now, there's a master sustainability plan in effect for London to make it the most sustainable and connected city in the world, as you're about to see. London, the iconic 21st century city, established over 2,000 years ago on the River Thames, a leading global city where more people than ever want to live and work. But today, London is facing massive growth, with an estimated 10.8 million people expected to be living in London by 2041. That means key challenges must be overcome. Well, London is a great success as a city. It's about 8.8 .8 million people live here now. Uh, and what we're seeing is uh, growth in the city. And we expect to uh, go over 10 million in the next 10 years. So become a mega city, the uh, largest city in Europe. It creates a lot of challenges, a lot of challenges for infrastructure in terms of housing. How do we provide enough housing for, uh, for Londoners to live in? Uh, it creates a lot of problems for transport, which I'm responsible for and it also creates a lot of issues for environment. The mayor of London, Sadiq Khan's vision of growth and sustainability looks ahead two decades and includes a comprehensive view of all forms of transport embracing new technologies. It meant turning to a company known for innovation and problem solving. Jacobs, a global leader in city design, digital solutions, and advanced sciences with headquarters in Dallas, Texas, was asked to partner with organizations across London to introduce their Plan Beyond approach to sustainability. So Steve, all these are projects of Jacobs along the wall here. In dealing with so many projects, so many cities, what's your strategic focus? Yeah, as we work with cities across the globe, we're helping them tackle complex issues. It could be increasing population. It could be aging infrastructure. Uh, many are facing congestion, resiliency issues, environmental challenges. And, and ultimately, we're trying to integrate social value. So where do you start? Well, we start by getting with their, you know, key people and taking a step back and imagining and, you know, understanding what their desires are and put together a plan, a master plan. So explain how this vision specifically relates to the sustainability needs of London. Well, our Plan Beyond strategy and our global sustainability vision very much aligns with our clients' needs in the area of sustainability, and we developed our strategy with this in mind. It required citywide sustainable solution projects, for which Jacobs was able to devise and execute a plan that will help prepare London for its growth for years to come. Projects like Olympic Park, site of the 2012 Summer Olympics, which is now a major attraction for, as you can see, both tourists and locals alike. So Mason, what does this site, Olympic Park, mean to Jacobs? Well, this is a really important area of London for Jacobs. Uh, we were appointed to oversee the construction of the Olympic Park, all the sporting venues, and we're really proud of what was achieved here. But what's really fascinating about this park now is what's happened since the Games. It's redevelopment as an area for the public to come and enjoy open green space, to walk, to cycle. It's a real asset for London and its legacy. And there are many sustainability projects presently underway throughout London in its public transportation system, from step-free access and street-to-train accessibility, to ultra-low emission zones, and even cycle superhighways into the city. I think there's real ambition in that plan, and you need to have that vision really setting out where you want to go to. That allows you to have a suite of projects that really will make a difference to society. We need to have infrastructure that can really cope with the future. We're fantastic to have a great London Underground system, but it's, it's very old and it needs some work to bring it up to future standards. Um, we're really fortunate as Jacobs to have a long history of working with London Underground. 
And one of our projects has been step-free access proposals, making sure that that transport system is ready and accessible to all to improve connectivity for the future. ULES is a fantastic scheme that launched in April this year. It's the world's first ultra-low emission zone. Jacobs was really pleased to be part of the planning for that scheme. It's currently just in central London and already proven to be incredibly successful in improving air quality and congestion in the centre of London. We've had a number of cycle superhighways across London over the past few years, but this is really about making a separate space for cyclists away from traffic, so it's a much more safe environment um, and a much more pleasant route that will really encourage demand of sustainable modes such as cycling. Well, many of the projects we're working on within the capital have a big impact. We're impacting the skyline uh, beneath our feet right now. We're building London's uh, new super sewer, which is going to increase the capacity of the capital sewerage system, helping to clean the river and creating a cleaner capital for the people and its wildlife. Sustainability is inspiring to our people and we have an opportunity to nurture and develop the next generation of talent at Jacobs, where we believe that we can create even better solutions that we haven't imagined today to help shape a better tomorrow. There's still an Olympic-sized project of things to do for London yet to prepare for its future, but through innovative and sustainable solutions, I'm sure the City of London will prevail. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.